Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Sean here with SMF Media Design. In this video, we're gonna take a look at Playout B. Playout B is a piece of software that runs on a Raspberry Pi and emulates a uh, Blackmagic HyperDeck and is an option to using some of your media players like VLC um, to get video into your uh, ATEM minis. So uh, let's take a look here. Um, what I've got is a Raspberry Pi 4B with 4 gig of RAM and a 32 gig micro SD card. And you get the software from Playout B. Uh, now it is a paid piece of software, but it's uh, very reasonably priced. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to write the software to a uh, card. And what we're gonna do is, uh, we'll switch over to the PC here, and I've got the Raspberry Pi Imager. Okay, so it's as easy as buying and downloading the image, saving it out. Uh, you'll extract it from a zip file, which I've done right here. And in the imager, we're gonna choose OS and scroll all the way down to the bottom to use custom. Then we're gonna navigate Windows to where we have it saved. Select the file. We're gonna choose our SD card. And let me take that out, put it in again. And now we have our mass storage device. And we're gonna write. And it's gonna overwrite anything that's on that SD card. And now, as you can see, it's writing. This will take a few minutes. And while it does that, I've already got Playout B up and running. So we're gonna come over to the web page. Once it's up and running, you're gonna navigate to the IP of the unit. Uh, with, on port 3000, so it's gonna be the IP address colon 3000 forward slash control. And this is the web interface to the software. I've got one video uh, loaded in here right now, and uh, I'll bring that up so you can see everything working side by side. Click play and you'll see this slow motion video of this family running on the beach. Okay, and I'll stop that, and down here, this plus sign is all you need to click on to add video. So I'll add a few videos to this. As you can see, these are just MP4s. So nothing too special here. Now the nice thing about this is a lot of formats do work. So if you can play it here, if you can play it on the Raspberry Pi, then it's gonna work. So you're not stuck with uh, the format uh, like uh, Blackmagic has where you have to have it specifically as a QuickTime, uh, Apple ProRes. Uh, this is a little bit more flexible. So back to the PC and we still have the screen in the corner. So right now I can uh, pick the video I want, play, and you can see it right there. Now this uh, does have audio, so let me turn that on. And we can just continue to play. Now we have play, pause, stop, and um, 
repeat. So this will loop a video for you. Uh, and right now it looks like it is enabled. So I'm just going to leave this and we're going to see the timer run out and it should start over again, which it does. And I can turn that off. And then it stops and goes to black. Okay, so now what we can do is we can come on over to the uh, ATEM control software and oh, let me kill the key so you can see that. In the corner you have your settings wheel. Uh, if you open that up, HyperDeck 2 here is actually uh, the IP address of the unit. I have it connected to camera 3. Uh, it is set for auto roll, but currently that feature doesn't work. Um, and the developer is working on that to get that to work. So you do have to manually start your video uh, right now. And that is as of uh, April 2021. So uh, if you go to the website, here it is for Playout B. And you can see it's turn your Raspberry Pi into a hyperdeck to play clips directly into your ATEM switcher or via the web interface. And as you can see, known problems is the auto roll not working and there is some tearing on fast motion video. And I haven't noticed that on this uh, Raspberry Pi. Uh, I definitely recommend a Raspberry Pi 4B at least. And again, I have it though a unit with uh, 4 gig of RAM. And as you can see, upcoming uh, updates are going to include a Windows version, a Mac version uh, using VLC as output, and control via OSC. So once, uh, once that next version comes out in, in that update, you'll be able to control it from your Stream Deck um, and hopefully the auto roll will be working so it can just be uh, run right through the ATEM control software just by switching. So what I have here that you can see, uh, HyperDeck 1, this is my actual Blackmagic HyperDeck, and HyperDeck 2 is the Playout B. Okay, and if we come to Media Players, you'll see I have my HyperDeck, and then I have my Playout B. And I can expand the clips and I still have uh, the same clips here. So I'll turn that key back on. And you can see the video is playing. All controlled from the ATEM software control. And again, we can loop the video or not, stop it, select a clip, play. So this is definitely a good alternative to using a PC or a HyperDeck to get video into your uh, ATEM Mini. So I hope you found this useful. Uh, links to everything that I've been using here today is gonna to be down below. Uh, using most of my links uh, does help support the channel. Uh, I am an Amazon associate, so anything that you buy using those links, I uh, get a little kickback and it doesn't cost you anything extra. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up uh, and uh, throw a comment down below. How would you use uh, Playout B? Would you use it? Uh, do you think uh, other software uh, works a lot better? Would you use a HyperDeck? And uh, if you haven't already, uh, please 
consider subscribing to the channel. And I will see you in the next video.